After taking on my biggest renovation project in the laundry room a couple of months ago, it is time I take care of a space that has been neglected all year. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are standing in what's considered, I think, my den in my house. Every time I've gone into a room and I've made it over, I basically emptied out that entire room, sorted through all the things that were in there, and every time there was something that i didn't need or didn't want i just ended up piling it up in here i've been putting it off for a long time now for months since the beginning of the year and it's finally time to go ahead and tackle it so i'm going to go ahead and clear this out then we'll talk about what's next to send over their mid-century modern electric standing desk and partner with me in today's video to help bring you this makeover. Placebo provides ergonomic solutions for your home furnishings to allow you to be as efficient and comfortable as possible in your own home. They deliver right to your door, which makes it awesome because you don't have to go and pick up anything from a store. with instructions on how to assemble. Assembly was super easy for me to do with minimal to no additional tools and I was able to do all of my own. If I can do this, you can follow along and do it as well. side drawers and one small middle drawer that offer ample space without compromising on the leg room. This desk is going to be great for my den because it's going to allow me to have yet another space aside from my office where I'm able to get work done without having to walk all the way to the opposite side of the house. It's also going to double up as a beautiful entryway table which we have our living room right here. We have our one of our back doors here and this is where I'm going to be putting it. So when you walk from outside inside, it's going to add just a beautiful aesthetic look to the den and help to bring everything together and really complement the space. This desk can be used for standing or sitting and has controls to adjust the height as needed. Fazebo is actually running a Black Friday sale November 10th through November 30th where you can get up to $120 off and if you use my discount code Glenda Chavez, you can get an additional 5% discount. Be sure to check Fazebo out for your dust solutions. I have this antique piece that I want to put in that space, but I have to get it out first. So let's see if we can get it out. Let's see how much I struggle trying to get it out. I've had this rug sitting in here for quite some time. I picked it up from a local auction. It was brand new. I unwrapped it and I didn't like it. It's been sitting here for almost a year now I guess I could probably sell that So the wood is in pretty good condition. I would like to keep this and just clean it. 
so that's what we're going to attempt to do it is pretty stained i don't know if you can see that very well but so hopefully all of those stains come out we'll see first i gotta clean the wood and then i'll be able to clean the fabric It looks like I'll have to get it professionally cleaned because it cleaned well enough to remove any dirt, but there is still some staining left behind. I decided to change out the old fan for a more updated matte black one to modernize this space a bit more. It is the same fan I used in my bedroom when I made it over a while back. I've mentioned this in my past video, so if you've been around, you already know that all of my windows are slowly getting replaced, but I figured I'd mention that since I decided to remove the blinds completely and only install curtains for now until that happens. We have over 30 windows in this house and it is not cheap to replace windows, so for now, this will do. I found this extra long curtain rod off of Amazon because with all of the four windows, I couldn't find one in the store that was long enough. To resolve our shoe storage dilemma as we enter in and out of the house from this back door, I built a shoe rack. When looking for inspiration on Google, I came across this one from the Fix This, Build That channel, so I decided to follow his tutorial with a few of my own changes. I'll have his video linked down below. Lastly, I picked up this old coffee table from Facebook Marketplace for $30 and added it to the space to help make it a little bit more cozy. And now let's remember what this space used to look like. And what it looks like now. I wanted this space to be minimal, cozy, and functional. I think by not painting any of the tongue and groove and leaving it original but still adding a few modern decor pieces, it helped to balance out the new and the old. It flows with the rest of the spaces surrounding it without competing, and that's what I love the most. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stick around as I make my way to finish up all of the spaces inside my home. Don't forget to check out the full playlist if you enjoy makeovers. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!